Welcome to the Autosys training video. By the end of this video, you'll learn different calendar types in Autosys and create custom calendars and assign them to your jobs. Calendars. Calendars are objects that define the date-based execution schedule for jobs. Calendar definitions contain dates for the job schedule, such as end of month processing dates, holidays, end of quarter processing dates, and so on. Autosys stores the calendar objects in the database. While scheduling job execution, you can associate a calendar to one or more jobs. To run on specific days, example, every second Saturday, to exclude days like holidays from a job's run schedule. Calendar types. Autosys supports the three types of calendar objects, namely standard, extended, and cycle. Standard calendar. A standard calendar is a set of user-specified dates. Using standard calendar definition, you can specify the days when a job must run, such as the first weekday of every month. Define the processing days up to 10 years. Extended calendar. An extended calendar is a dynamic calendar that is generated automatically. The calendar may reference other calendars, such as standard calendar, cycle, and conditions. You can use extended calendars for handling complex scheduling requirements. For example, if you are running a job at month end, but if the month end dates fall on a holiday or Saturday, or Sunday, extended calendars automatically reschedule the job run to the previous or next working day. Cycle calendar. Cycle calendar is a list of one or more date ranges, periods, that Autosys uses as processing periods in an extended calendar. A cycle can have a maximum of 30 periods, each with at most 365 days in length. You can use cycles to create a calendar where the processing days differ from the regular calendar months. Cycle calendars are directly unavailable for a job, but you can use them while defining the extended calendars. Autosys supports creating and managing calendar definitions from both command line interface, CLI, and web UI. While defining the calendar objects, Autosys supports the following two methods to assign the calendar dates. Manually select the dates. Use rules to set recurring dates. To enhance your learning experience, we will walk through a scenario of the Hedmeral Bank and demonstrate how to use calendar objects in Autosys. Hedmeral Bank runs hundreds of batch jobs daily across departments like compliance and retail banking. Each team follows different work calendars. End of month reporting jobs run on the last weekday of the month while retail jobs need weekend processing and compliance reporting jobs during the weekdays. Departments require different job schedules depending on their processing needs. Thus, Autosys workload automation developers can create custom calendars to ensure that batch jobs execute according to the specified date and time conditions. Let's enter our training environment and create a standard calendar definition to identify the weekdays for compliance reports from the selected month and for the year using Autosys Web UI. To start the calendar creation, log in to Autosys Web UI and click the Quick Edit interface. In the Quick Edit interface, click Create. The Create Object dialog opens. Select the Autosys server from the Server drop-down field. Scroll down and click the Calendar icon in the Calendar section. Autosys displays Create Calendar on the Autosys server page. In the Calendar Properties section, provide the calendar name. A short description of the calendar. In the Generate section, retain the default settings and select every option in the Occurrence section. Select Weekday from the Days drop-down field and then click Apply Rules. A Generate Days dialog opens. The calendar displays the weekdays as the processing days per the defined rules. 
Note that you can define processing days for up to 10 years in advance. Click Apply. Now the calendar is updated with the processing days. Finally, click Commit to save the standard calendar definition. Autosys displays a confirmation message indicating that the calendar is successfully created. Let's also create an extended calendar object from WebUI. The purpose of this calendar is to move the end-of-month process date to the previous working day of the month in case the end-of-month falls on a holiday. To create an extended calendar, navigate to the Quick Edit interface. In the Quick Edit interface, click Create. The Create Object dialog opens. Select the Autosys server from the Server drop-down field. Scroll down and click the Extended Calendar icon in the Calendar section. Autosys displays Create Calendar on the Autosys server page. Go to the Properties section. In the Primary subsection, provide the calendar name, a short description of the calendar, and the condition keyword. In the Holiday Action section, select Schedule on Previous Workdays as the Reschedule rule. Select or enter the Holiday Calendar name. In the Non-Workday Action subsection, select Schedule on Previous Workdays as the Non-Workday Action. Select the Weekday checkboxes as Workdays. And then click Generate Preview. Autosys displays the Extended Calendar Preview dialog. The Calendar Preview displays the processing days enabled as per the specified rules. Validate the dates and ensure they are selected correctly as per the rules. You may notice that the date shifts to the previous working day if the last day of the month falls on a weekend or holiday, per the defined rules and holiday calendar definitions. Finally, click Commit to save the extended calendar definition. Autosys displays a confirmation message on successful calendar creation. Let's assign the extended calendar to an existing job from WebUI. To assign a calendar to a job, click the Quick Edit interface. In the Search section, select the Autosys server in the Server field. Select Job as the type. Provide the job name in the Name field and click Go. Autosys displays the job in the Search Results section. Click the job name to which you want to assign the calendar. The job opens in Edit Mode. In the Properties section of the job, click the Schedule tab. Select the Use Date, Time Conditions checkbox. In the Days subsection, select the Run Calendar option. Select the previously created Extended Calendar from the Run Calendar dropdown. In the Time subsection, select the Times of Day option. Provide the Start Time. Click Save Job to save the updated job. Autosys successfully updates the job and displays a confirmation message. It also displays the job scheduled per the extended calendar's definition. Thank you for watching the training video.